Namaskar, welcome to Shopify Origami video number 5. So in today's video, we are going to learn Origami Tulip. So let me show you out from my pocket here. So as you can see, this is Origami Tulip. Let me show you from a closer angle here. So in today's video, we are going to fold this Origami creation. So let me tell you, I categorize my Origami creations in three different levels. One is easy, second is average and third is hard. So this is an easy level Origami creation, which means every person can fold this Origami creation with ease. So let's get started to today's video and if you like today's video please do comment and subscribe to Shavik's Origami for future Origami video creation updates. So let's go to the video. So let's start folding Origami tulip. So I have made a sample here as you can see. So I am taking here two uh, Origami square sheets. One is of pink color and one is of green color. Green color for the stem and pink color for the body. So let us start with the body of tulip. So we will start off with the white side so as to get the tulip of uh, pink color. So first of all we will do some basic folds here. This is the triangular fold we are doing. We have done this triangular fold, reverse the fold. Now on the other side. And now open the paper so we have got a cross crease here. So now what we will do is we will just take the help of these two creases and just push to push the paper like this and from the top we have got this crease and this crease so what we'll do is we'll just push the paper from here and match this crease along this crease so you can see I am matching similarly we will do here and just press through the center and press along the edge so you can see we have got a triangle here and a triangle here with two flaps in this side and two flaps in this side. So now what we will do is we have got a center crease as well in this side and in this side as well. So we will just fold it into half for better understanding of the crease. So yes we have got a center crease here. Now what we will do is now we will just open this flap up and just fold it into half towards the half crease or the crease that we made now the same step we will do with this once we have done this we will fold the paper and just repeat the same on the other side so once we have done it will look something like this so what now what we will do is we will just fold the, the fold the shape or the fold the paper to the earlier it was like this so just we will fold where they fold the paper to that place where there is no fold so you can see there is no fold only one crease is there similarly here there is no fold but only one crease is there so now what we will do is we will try to see there is one flip here or pocket you can say here and there is one pocket here so what our aim is our aim is to just fit this thing in this pocket so what I will do is, I will just fold it in this shape, just observe the shape, we will fold it in this shape, a little over the center crease. Now what we will do is, we will just take this side and insert it in this pocket. So you can see I am doing, you can follow me. So I have done, when you have properly inserted this flip just firmly push down so it will look something like this now we will repeat the same thing on the opposite side just fold a little over the center crease and put the another uh, fold inside this pocket and just fold firmly so here we go here we have got the basic structure of our tulip. Now what we will do is, we will just hold the paper from this side and this side and just blow air from this small hole which will be there. So I am blowing here. So I am blowing, so I have blown uh, air. So now you can see that the flip, uh, the folds might get, you know, detached. So we will just do, repeat the folds once. So. So we have repeated the folds. Now what we will do is, once this is, uh, once this is completed, now what we will do is we will just shape the flaps, flips 
or petals you can say so one it is two and it is third petal just fold a little bit little just push a little bit pull sorry just pull a little bit and uh, just shape it blow air again so here you go our origami tulip is absolutely ready now what we will do for the stem i have taken one green paper now we will simply start off from here and roll the paper we will try to keep the orientation in diagonal so as to get the maximum length of roll we are folding i am folding the paper like this as you can see with my hands now what we will do no fabric collar no adhesive required i will just push this in this hole which through which we blow air earlier so from this side i will do this is so i have done this little bit it will open but that's okay so here you go we have created origami tulip i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video please do like comment and subscribe to shoves origami for future origami creation video updates thank you and have a nice day